Hey everybody. So, uh, one of my friends, uh, playing in his D&D campaign, and, uh, he, like, left us with a cliffhanger ending. <laughs> Basically, he's gonna, he's gonna kill us, gonna, uh, do a TPK, total party kill on us with this. So, uh, so I'm gonna paint it for him. Um, <laughs> I, uh, <clears throat> I did a Zenithal paint job, uh, uh, you can see, like, the, the underside is a lot darker than the top. So I did that with rattle cans I've been experimenting with. Trying to find a way to do a good Zenithal Prime with rattle cans. Um, so, anyways, I'm thinking for the base coat, what I want to do is I want to mix up, like, a deep kind of purple. I want this, uh... Kind of like undead flesh thing going on. Uh, so I'm gonna start with some game air and some model color. Got game air, imperial blue here, and then model color blue violet. So that should give me a nice deep purple. So that's a little too thick to go through the airbrush. Um, just model color is too thick on its own. And then the Vallejo, the, um, <clears throat> uh, the model air, I feel like it's about the right consistency, but it still needs to be thinned out just a tiny bit. So I'm going for sort of like 2% you know, 2% milk. Okay, and then because uh, I want a kind of undead, you know, weird veiny look, I'm gonna use a dryer sheet to um, to get, to add some, uh, some texture. Our sheet wasn't really working, kind of gave up on it. <laughs> um, this is actually looking, you know, it's got the grays in there, uh, which is making this a little darker, but I think um, uh, because he's already got a lot of texture, you know, it's not gonna, it's not really gonna show up too, too much unless it's in the highlights, but uh, I'm thinking, I want to go a little bit darker, so I'm just going to add a little bit of more of this blue to this. highlights, you know, from above, just to get these base colors mixed up. I'm just gonna blend in, uh, do, do more of this uh, kind of purple pink color from above. This is what I use my uh, really crapped out brushes for. Just did a video about that, talking about uh, how to take care of your good brushes, and this is what I use the, the crapped out ones for. All right, now 
I'm gonna start mixing in some uh, split pink. This is an awesome color. <laughs> it's a great color. The uh, the stuff that's in my um, my airbrush thinner. There's like rubbing alcohol and uh, Windex in there, and it sort of makes the pig the pigments break a little bit. That's why it does that. So as I'm mixing colors, I take the, the color that I'm using and then I dump it back in here and then, you know, use maybe a little bit of quick change thinner. Dump that back in. Run this through. because I really don't want to be mixing my colors in here. I want to be mixing them in here and then putting them on. Okay, so I just want a little more pink. You can see how this just starts to like grow and grow. The amount of paint that I have in here. Might have to dump some of this out. I do want a gradual transition, but I just want to go like pink, you know? Mm, that's not bad. All right, that's looking pretty much how I want it for this part. Um, so I'm gonna start working in some uh, some of my highest highlights, and then that's gonna be with this uh, spectrum blue color. Uh, so I'm gonna do a little tiny bit of airbrushing with that, but I'm mostly gonna be um, doing the, the highest highlight parts with the brush. And then I'm going to toss this. All right, so done with the airbrush. Just gonna start doing some brush work. Really like this color though. Spectrum blue. Uh, so I'm gonna do some dry brushing with a makeup brush. Just wanna kind of pick up the um, skin folds, you know, ridges, things like that. It's a 
make those stand out. I think I'm gonna make the eye like a milky kind of color too. So now, uh, before I go to work on his eyes and his teeth and stuff like that, I think I'm going to um, give him a wash all over. And I'm going to use some flesh wash. big old brush and just dump it on there. Okay, and then while that's actually still drying, um, I'm gonna start doing some wet blending. I'm gonna, uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna start wet blending his eyes and I'm gonna use some P3 uh, Sickly Skin just to get, so I want that kind of like red around the eyes. Um, but in the, like the iris area, I want that to be kind of like a milky color. Um, so put down a little bit, right? Kind of in the middle of the iris. And then I'm gonna feather it. Just sort of pull the color back in. So I'm sort of pushing the pigments around, like I put down the paint, and then I'm just gonna kind of push them around to where I want them to actually be. Just gonna feather them out. And I can even, you know, like I can put this in some water, and make sure that there's not a lot of water in the tip, and then just kind of smooth it out. But the, um, the, the P3 paints are, they're nice and opaque, but they're good for um, doing stuff like this, where you're sort of like wet blending on the, um, on the mini. So that's gonna be his like milky iris right there. His undead eye. Um, and I'm just gonna leave it like that for now. And then I might put a little bit more color in there later, but that's just gonna, I'm just gonna put a little tiny bit of paint in there and then kind of blend it out. But I want all of his eyes to look kind of like milky and undead like that. some of this on his teeth too.
make those look dirty later. Alright, so to put some little pupils on there, I'm just going to glaze on a tiny little bit of black just using some game ink black just a tiny bit might even thin that out a little just got a little water Okay, and now to just make the teeth look kind of dingy, and, and I think I'm going to put some around the eyes too. I'm going to use some of this uh, uh, Game Color Sepia wash. And again, like, thin this out a little bit too. Just put it on teeth and stuff, you know, make them like dingy and dirty. But around the eyes, can the really want to make this guy look uh Play up the uh, the undead look. So uh, I texted my friend a picture of him, and uh, and then he's like, "Oh, it looks awesome!" <laughs> uh, so he's happy. He. I'm just gonna stop here. He wants to do something with the, he wants to do something special with the base. So I'm just gonna hand it off to him. But anyways, I'll, uh, I'll post some like turnaround pictures and see what it looks like. All right, guys, that's gonna be it. Thanks for watching. Take care of yourselves.